this is so, oh my god. What's going on everyone? This is Vance Ballo and I know by now, by the time of posting this, everyone has seen the Avengers 4 trailer and I, I, I do not know how to feel. <laughs> like, oh no. For those that somehow don't know, the Avengers 4 trailer came out this morning at 9 a.m. and basically this video is just gonna be me uh, <laughs> reacting to it and giving my opinions on it and and some things I saw interesting on it and and the best parts to me honestly in it and it's just <laughs> kind of maybe me venting for it a little bit but I mean hey we'll, we'll see <laughs> so let's start this video on the things that I loved about this trailer and also the uh, things that I noticed in this trailer that might have a huge impact on the Avengers 4 movie the first being that we finally see Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, but he's not Hawkeye anymore. He is the character that has been speculated about since Avengers 3, I think, and he is the character of Ronin. For those that don't know, Ronin is the second identity to Clint Barton after Hawkeye and after the events of the Civil War comics, and in the new Avengers, he is leading a whole new Avengers group. This trailer doesn't seem to be he's leading his own group of Avengers, but he has been on his own thing doing... God knows what, but we'll probably find out in the Avengers 4 movie. And But uh, uh, Black Widow finds him and he finally reveals himself to be uh, Clint Barton, which when I saw that, I screamed like a little girl. The second thing that I noticed that may have a huge impact on future Marvel movies is that in this trailer, it showed that Shuri from Black Panther is missing. And... That was big on its own because in an interview months before, the character, the actor that played her, Letitia Wright, said that Shuri and a bunch of other Wakandans survived the snap. And now we see in this trailer that Shuri is missing. Maybe she's gone into hiding or maybe that was just a look away kind of hide and dodge type of situation that Letitia Wright was given to say by Marvel. I, I don't know, but it, 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 it freaked me out almost. It freaked me out. I don't know if anybody else saw it, but I was the one. But I know I saw it, and I was, it, it piqued my interest, to say the least. Now I'm going to go into my opinions and predictions for Avengers Endgame. And one, Endgame is so crazy. Like, I, I, I'm trying to find comics that have Endgame in it or anything that can be connected from comics to movie based, but I, I'm not, I can't, I'm not having it successful successful time with it but in any case I'm gonna still look <laughs> it's really just gonna be one opinion and one prediction and I'm gonna start with my opinion which is that this should be the only trailer that Marvel releases for Avengers Endgame I know and I know people love to gossip and go over trailers but what Marvel has been doing and I don't hate it necessarily but I get it is that they they oversaturate us with trailer after trailer to get us hyped for the movie. You don't need to do that for this movie. <laughs> because after that huge, huge cliffhanger in Avengers Infinity War, people are already going to line up to see Avengers Endgame. I already know I'm reserving my ticket. And I already know millions of other people are going to reserve their tickets. So you really don't need more trailers. You really don't need more hype. And, I, and Marvel does this thing where they will put out more trailers to get people hyped for certain movies and and they will just put out trailers but you don't need to do that for this movie you don't you really don't and honestly you probably didn't even need a trailer for avengers endgame all you probably needed was a title and a release date and then people are going to pull up anyway by the time of this recording the avengers trailer alone has over 5,000 views so needless to say people are already excited about this movie now on to my prediction of this movie, which is Captain America is probably going to die. It's been reported to Ad Nauseam that Chris Evans' contract is set to expire after Avengers 4, and I think so is Robert Downey Jr.'s, so people were speculating and talking about who was going to die in Avengers 4, and people have been saying it's Tony Stark, and people have also been saying that it's going to be Steve Rogers' Captain America, but after seeing this trailer and after the tones and the beats and what happened in it i think it's going to be cap and the reason why i think it's going to be cap is that in the beginning of the trailer uh tony stark sends a video message to pepper potts talking about rescue 
And that is a huge thing because in the comics, Rescue is actually a uh, like an Iron Man suit that Tony Stark builds for Pepper Potts, and they call it Rescue. And it Rescue is basically like a <laughs> basically what it says in her name is a rescue uh, hero. She just kind of goes in and rescues people and and saves people and and doesn't really fight. So I think Pepper Potts is going to get that message. And she's going to go in and save Tony Stark. The same can't be said for Captain America. And I think what's going to happen with that is he's probably either he's going to sacrifice himself or some. I don't. I honestly don't know how it's going to happen. But I'm. But I'm pretty sure uh, Captain America is going to die. But that about wraps it up for this video. But I would love to know what you thought on the trailer down below. If you want to watch my last video, then click right here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then click right here. Like, comment, and share, and I will see you next time.